Um, let's see, I'm gonna try and get this working again here. It might take me one second here. Um, the Oklahoma Department of Aerospace, assuming no air resistance, could this rocket theoretically travel from Boca Chica to Northeast Oklahoma? This rocket, air resistance isn't the problem. Gravity drag is, or gravity pulling you down. So air resistance in the, in the grand scheme of things is, is almost, is very, very little to do with point-to-point -point travel. A lot of it is just overcoming gravity because it's not like you just go up and once you're flying, oh, yay, everything's happy. We have no air resistance to slow us down because gravity is still pulling you back down. You're going to follow a ballistic trajectory. Just like if you're on the moon and you threw a ball up, that ball is going to come right back down because the, you know, the moon has no discernible atmosphere. Um, just because you threw a ball in a, in a thing with no atmosphere, there's still gravity pulling at it. And even on the moon, it's one-sixth gravity. So you could throw a ball substantially further, right? Because there's less gravity and there's no atmospheric drag. Here, though, gravity is still pulling you down. So if you shoot something up, even if we've sucked out all the air on Earth, you would still get pulled down really fast and really quick. Um, so it would still require a lot of Delta V. If this vehicle is fully fueled or fueled up to its maximum potential, it might be able to go that far. It would actually probably do better if it had an atmosphere to glide through and, and, and obviously to control its landing and things like that too. So uh, to that, I would say yes, maybe, no, I don't know.